Trapang 2 is a new first-person action game developed by Trapang Studios and Team 17. The developers describe the game as follows. Become the ultimate badass in Trapang 2, a gory, action-packed FPS set in the near future. Unleash all hell on your enemies, dodge bullets and leave trails of destruction in this hardcore and frenetic shooter. So I sat down with Trapang 2 for a couple hours and I've got to say, it was pretty good. The game has some good and some not so good points, but overall, if you're looking for a fast-paced action shooter that'll keep you on the edge of your seat, Trapang 2 is worth checking out. Trapang 2 pays homage to the 2000 era shooter and bears resemblance to older games like Fear and Doom 3 and has you fighting your way through swaths of enemies in claustrophobic corridors, tunnels and indoor arenas. In a similar fashion, the game features resource pickups like other older titles, and you can pick up ammo and armor packs from your enemies that you kill in combat. To be honest, I'm quite disappointed that I didn't come across any blue or red keycards for doors. Now, you might call me a millennial or whatever, but I don't really like this old school style of item pickup. And this can get pretty annoying when you're in the middle of a firefight and you're low on resources and just trying to survive long enough to find more health, armor or ammo, which definitely kills the mood at times. Or maybe I'm just bad at the game, which is, you know, probably true. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'd probably find a way to try and balance the difficulty by having unlimited ammo or maybe even a recharging health bar, but even then I'd probably still be running around while my health recharges and that's, you know, still pretty annoying. So I think really the solution here is just for me to get good. Trapang 2 is a pretty short experience, coming in at about 6-8 to eight hours if you take your time, on normal mode that is, and there is a story to follow if you're interested, but to be honest I wasn't really paying too much attention to it, but it is there if you want it. In between missions, you have a safe room which you can go back to to change your weapon loadout and character clothes, and from here you can also select which mission you want to go on next. Customize appearance. Okay. Hey, this is cool. Right, I want to go flat white. <laughs> we are a latte. So you begin the game as a prisoner at an enemy facility and you fight your way out, taking out hordes of soldiers as you go. The gunplay and combat in Trapang 2 is awesome. The gun sounds and the weight and feel of your weapons are all very meaty and enemies are very satisfying to kill. As you tear hordes of enemies to shreds with your bullets, you recharge your stamina meter which allows you to perform some pretty cool special abilities. One of these abilities is the cloak feature which takes its inspiration from Crisis and allows you to become invisible for short periods of time. You also have the ability to enter bullet time mode and slow down, Max Payne style. After a certain point in the game, you can even find a serum which the main character injects into himself which allows you to dual wield guns of the same type, to mow down your enemies even faster. Now that's what I call efficiency. I don't know what he's got in that serum, but whatever it is, it packs a punch. Melting enemies with a giant minigun or dual wielding SMGs is pretty fun, and if you add bullet time into the mix, you're definitely going to be making a pretty huge mess. I can only imagine the pain of trying to clean up this level if this are a cleanup detail. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> Look at my gun, it's completely red. That's what you want to see. In the heat of combat, you can also take enemies hostage and use them as bullet shields in firefights, which is pretty awesome. Or, if you're like me, you can just play basketball with them for a bit of extra value. Go! Fly! Oh, he did. <laughs> you do have the option to go stealthy as well, which I didn't really engage with much, but you can use the environment to aid you with this by shooting out the lights to hide and confuse enemies, along with the ability to use suppressed guns and use your cloak ability to get those sweet, sweet stealth kills. The graphics and sound design in Trapang 2 are pretty awesome. Firefights turn into great displays of explosion and gunfire, especially when enemies are tossing grenades at you left, right and centre. You do have the ability to customise your weapons to add suppressors, scopes and laser attachments to fit your needs, and you can find and unlock more of these as the game progresses and you complete more missions. In its different levels, the game features different types of environments including an office block, a construction site, along with a hospital and even a library near the end. The environment design is very varied and it keeps you progressing along quite nicely. In the second level, you're thrown into the spooky Pandora Institute, which features underground tunnels and a hospital wing, which was probably my favourite part of the whole game. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he went flying! Fighting hordes of acid-spitting zombies and trying to escape both the facility and a giant vampire thing trying to melt you like an ice cream was pretty fun. This level also features a pretty epic chase scene where you have to navigate an acid-filled underground while being surrounded by mutated zombies on all sides. At times, I did kind of feel a little bit lost trying to find out where I was supposed to be going next, which is a little bit of a turn-off in this game, as once the action dies down, it can be a little bit frustrating trying to wander around and hope for the best. By this same respect, the boss fights in Trapang 2 can be a bit of a letdown as they're just flashy bullet sponges where you stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and just shoot each other until one of you dies. This isn't always fun and it often takes away from the fast-paced action bits, the bits that are actually really quite fun.
Overall, the enemy design is pretty great and features a host of different enemy types, including kamikaze bombers, riot shields, and monster type enemies and bosses from time to time. Some of my favourite moments in the game are the horror bits where you have to fight giant vampires or even zombies. In terms of content, for such a small game it does feature a lot to do. You have about a million different difficulty levels to challenge yourself with, and even playing on normal mode I died a few times, so I can't even imagine how hard rage mode is. Although I am pretty terrible at video games, as you probably are aware by now. In total, you have about five main missions to complete and six side missions, and I believe a super secret special mission which you have to unlock manually. The game also features a simulation training mode, which pits you against hordes of enemies in varied environments, and a cheat mode which you can work towards by beating levels and finding intel around the map. In typical old school fashion, there's even a big head mode. The performance of the game is pretty good. I was playing and recording with a 2080 and a decent i7, and stayed at a cool 60 FPS for the majority. There were some instances of noticeable frame drop, but no stuttering or stability issues during my playthrough. The game does boast a decent amount of customizable graphics and UI options, and if I were to play the game again I'd probably disable the HUD because while not really in the way, I didn't really look at it much. You can even turn the game down to low violence mode if you really want to, but the violence is half the fun in my opinion. So it's true, you really are just like me. The question is... Overall, Trepang 2 is a decent first-person action game with great graphics and sound, good enemy design and great environmental effects and weighty gun combat. Even though the game is pretty short, it definitely makes up for it with great moments and even though I have some gripes about the overall experience, I would definitely recommend you give this one a go. I think most of the things that I'm worrying about in this are things that exist in a lot of games anyway, so not really downsides. If you're interested, I'll be uploading a first impressions live playthrough of the game tomorrow where you can check out more of the gameplay. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Jumping attack! <laughs> oh god, can you imagine if that happened to you? Even if I was still alive, I'd just be like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> if you like this video, please let me know by leaving a like, a comment, or a subscribe. Every single one helps, and I'll catch you next time.